Hi, my name is David and I and today I will be showing you how to install WinUE. This is an emulator for running Amiga games on your PC. The first step is to download WinUE. So you go to this website here and you click download the, the link to download the latest version, which is currently 2.8.1. Save the file to your desktop and then run the installation. Accept the default location and then press install. Now if a pop-up message comes, it comes up then just press yes. Now you've installed the emulator. Next step is to install the is to download and install the Kickstart ROMs. These are required if you want to do anything uh, in the Amiga emulator. You go to this website here, click the download file button, which opens up this web page. Click the download file button here, and you get this file here. Extract this file, open up the folders, and the folder you're interested in is called Chaos ROMs. These are the ROMs that you require. So select all of them, copy them, open up the WinUAE file location, create a new ROMs folder and copy and paste all the ROMs into here. Next step is to download some games. Uh, there's a number of game games websites that you can go to. I've created my own called Games for Enthusiasts. I've got a small selection of games that you can download here. Uh, there's also the game archives. There's thousands of games you can download from there. Uh, Planet Emu and Emu Paradise. There's obviously many, many more websites that you can go to, but these are the four that I recommend. Create a games folder for, for the files. Uh, now the files that you download are called, they've got a .adf extension to them, uh, which stands for Amiga Disk Format. Uh, this is just a small selection of games that I've got. Then before you run WinUE, I will just make sure that you've got the tick box ticked uh, for run this program as an administrator. And then we open up the emulator. Now, it may be confusing at first because of all the different settings there are, um, but once you know what you're doing, it's quite straightforward. And we need to, you need to set all these properties before you can actually uh, play any of the games. Uh, so you need to make sure that the path is correct to your ROMs, which it is. And then you can set uh, various folders uh, to save your videos in, screenshots, etc. Here you choose the Amiga model that you want. Uh, the majority of games will run um, on an Amiga 500, uh, but for the games that require a more powerful model, I would usually go for the A1200. Now you might think that, oh, well, you just choose the, the most powerful Amiga and it'll be fine, but uh, the older games don't tend to run in the later models, so you just need to choose the appropriate one for the game that you want. Most of these settings you just leave as they are. Uh, display settings. 
Now you can choose to uh, to run the game in windowed mode or full screen if you want. I usually change this to single because there's less of a border around the game that way. Make sure that sound is enabled, otherwise you won't hear any sound when you're playing the game. And if you want to emulate uh, the floppy drive sound as the disk is being loaded, then you can do that there. Here's where you can configure the mouse and the keyboard. You can change the different to a different layout for the keyboard. And you can also set uh, your joystick as well. Here is where you record audio and video from your games as you play in them. Um, I won't be going to in, into that in this particular video, but I might cover it in a later video. Keep all these the same. And now we want to do save the configuration. Of course, we don't really want to have to be doing this every time we load up the emulator. You only want to do it once. And then we save that into our configurations folder and it appears here. So the next time you load up when you're a, you just click on your configuration and you click load. And you can create um, lots of different configurations, uh, for example, for the Amiga 500, 1200, 4000. And you just click on the one you want, and press load. Now we need to select the game that we want. For this example, I'm going to be playing Amiga Bre Alien Breed uh, Special Edition. Click open. And uh, these are the floppy drives that you use. So DF0, uh, by default, uh, you have one drive, floppy drive, but you can have up to uh, four in total. You just tick the box to enable them, like that. So once you've finished everything, then you just click Start, and the game will run. Now, for some reason, uh, the video I'm recording now doesn't capture the sound uh, from the emulator, but I can assure you that there are there is um, sound uh, that you can hear when you're playing the games.
one of the reasons why I chose this game is because it has two discs to it. And uh, so uh, to change the disc, you press F12, click Select Image File. For this particular game, it doesn't recognize additional floppy drives, it just uses uh, drive DF0. So you just have to make do with this. Select disk 2, open, OK to go back, and then press fire. Uh, on, on keyboard layout A, that's naught, or if you have a joystick, you just press fire on that. Now we just press start game. Now the game starts. And then when you've finished, just press F12 and then press quit. Thank you for the watching this video and please leave your comments below.